What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with a game called Main Assembly and I'm so excited to bring you this game guys. There's so much to talk about. We're just gonna jump right into the tutorial because there is a fair amount of tutorial levels. The backstory behind this game is the developers contacted us because they watched our YouTube channels and saw the sort of building we did in Scrap Mechanic and wanted to create a game that gives us a sort of awesome building experience. You'll notice a few different elements of a few different games that kind of make this game super, super unique, and I absolutely love it. I've been having a great time playing with it, and I'm so excited to bring this game to you guys. So you'll notice there's some text in the tutorial coming up on the bottom of the screen. I've kind of beaten the tutorials before, and, uh, you know, we're just gonna sort of drive around and talk about it, but it's such a great game, guys. So it's coming out in early access, uh, sometime before the end of this year, hopefully. They did say Q4 of 2019 originally, but we've been given permission to sort of play it and just show you guys what it's all about. So obviously we do control this little robot. We do build robots like this, vehicles, cars, planes, you name it, we can build it. And uh, of course, it's just got all that awesome fancy goodness. So jumping right into the second tutorial, uh, now they kind of instruct you on how to, I guess, spawn a robot and build it. You'll notice the building system is not at all like scrap mechanic. It's very much like trail makers. So you press B, you enter build mode, and we have just a little bit of a robot here. Uh, then, of course, we bring up all our parts, and I can't remember what they want. They want to put a controller on it. Is that right? Yeah, a seat. And, of course, then we can grab our seat, you know, and place it wherever we want. Now, what makes this game really, really cool, which they allow us to do later, but we can just do now, is uh, freeform crafting. So you just, you want to build your vehicle. You just kind of grab parts and you just build them. So there we go. Now we've put uh, a very sick looking here. We'll just, you know, we'll move this up and, and there we go. Now we've got, uh, you know what? We need to seal this in. Uh, we'll just go, there we go. Perfect. Let's bring this back just like that. Yeah, we'll drag this forward. Look at that. This is, uh, that's how you deliver the mail right there. And then of course we can spawn in our vehicle hop right in and uh, and beat the challenge. So it's it's great. And there's free form crafting. It's not just polygons either. We can make curves. Uh, we can do all sorts of stuff. And of course, the game has aerodynamic physics. So uh, you can make a plane and it actually has proper, you know, physics. If you make flat wings, it'll give you lift. If you make downforce spoilers, all that stuff. It's super great, super fun. I'm super excited. You guys will see by the... Wait, I'm in the parking area. Oh, poke all the dummies. I didn't poke all the dummies. All right, so we're just gonna use the default car. Uh, we gotta go find the dummies. You'll notice I just lost my front lights, which is kind of super awesome because, uh... Wait, how do you get that dummy? Oh, you gotta go up, up here. Okay, around this way. But there's full destruction physics as well. So it's got everything. It's got aerodynamics. It's got destruction. It's got freeform crafting. It's got all sorts of parts. It's got logic like logic bots that's easier to use. It's got building like dream car racing that's easier to do. It's got the build menu. Um... That's awesome. I totally didn't realize the dummies fall over. That's that's hilarious. I, I don't think I've ever hit a dummy in this. Uh, you know, we can just we can just send it. Oh no, we can't. No, well, that was a that was a problem. We lost a wheel and we can't get out. Did that count? It counted as me poking the one dummy. Perfect. Let's get the other dummy here. And we'll just go to the print area. Oh yeah, perfect. Absolutely amazing. So in this one, we obviously have to put wheels on this race car. Now, like I said, this wing will actually provide aerodynamic downforce. I mean, probably not much. All right, so we got to place four medium wheels. So we'll just go in, grab our wheels. I, I don't know if it matters. Let's go with racing wheels. Does it, does it care? Nope, does not. Print that. Oh, this is a very wide vehicle. Holy cow. Okay, we'll just head over here. I think this is the present. Oh. Perfect. Missing present. Avoid all the dummies. And I think we can just jump down here. Um, it counted. All right. So in this next level, we have to build a lawnmower. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't cut grass yet. I did. I was very disappointed. I told the devs, you, you got to make it cut grass. So hopefully we'll see that at some point in time. But we're just learning how to put motors and stuff on here. So we got to poke all the dummies, show a dummy the depths. Uh, but we just grab a motor. And it's just really, really easy to do. Just click, boom, done. And then we'll put some wheels on it. I guess some off-road wheels. And the one thing I really like about this building system is we can just change stuff after we've placed it. So we place these motors, but then we can, of course, grab this panel, uh, just drag it out. And then we can, of course, you know, shift it however we want. We could take the motor itself if we just click off the panel. And we could now extend it, move it back there. The wheels move with it. Um, and now we've got a drag lawnmower. But you know what? It's really, really nice that you can just kind of manipulate all the things once you've placed them. It really makes life a little bit easier, especially if you're making all sorts of crazy creations. And you can see here we've got curved lines, which is super cool. And of course, we can change that as well. 
um, and just completely manipulate everything we want. So the freeform crafting, it just, it really changes the way you have to think of stuff. The closest game I would think to it is Dream Car Racing 3D, um, but I, I didn't like the crafting system in that as much. I found it was much more difficult to do. Um, this thing might bottom out a lot, but let's just, let's just beat it. So we got to show a dummy the depth, so that's you, for sure. We're going to kick you in the butt. Get it, get, no, go, there we go. Okay, bye. All right, perfect. We got to poke all dummies, but we also have to avoid all checkpoints. So that says checkpoints. So let's not touch that. Let's get this. Come here. Oh, excellent. Okay, and then we got to get the last dummy, which is where? Where is the dummy? Oh, way back there on the bench. Okay, excellent. Um, I think it's a glitch that the side of my vehicle's highlighted or is it maybe painted orange is that a highlight or it might be painted i'm not sure are we are we actually okay no, we're good we're good we're good smack you perfect now of course there is deformation physics so i'm trying not to you know completely destroy my vehicle but i think we'll be okay here we just gotta avoid the checkpoint perfect no problem Awesome, and that's fun with parts. All right, so in the next set of tutorials, they kind of teach us how to do the body manipulations, the stuff I've been showing you where we drag the different pieces around. But of course, uh, you know, I'm already an expert on that. Now in this one, the idea is that they've made this bot too wide and they want you to fit through the door. But of course, the game has deformation physics. So if you just kind of go fast enough, you smash the one side off. Um, and then you can just kind of do the same thing again here. And oh, no, no, we got to line up a little bit better. Here we go. There we go. Perfect. See? Then problem solved. You don't need to really do anything. Uh, but of course, to beat this mission, we have to move a plate, undo a mistake, and then find the missing present, which I don't know where it is. But anyways, let's go back to build mode. Uh, so we'll move the panel. Of course, we'll just we'll move these in because that's what they want us to do. Undo a mistake. Control Z. Awesome. Of course, they've got undo, redo, you know, just the typical commands. They can also copy and paste uh, assemblies. So if you take part of your vehicle, you can copy and paste it somewhere else. You know, always a useful feature to have in a building game. Uh, and then we should be able to print this. And now we're good to go find the missing present. That, I don't know where that is. Where would the missing present be? Probably downstairs, I imagine. Not, I don't think we can go through that door. What is down here? Missing present. Well, there's a big ramp back there. There's got, it's gotta be up that, right? Through this. Yeah, there's no way they would block that off without putting something up here. I mean, come on. All right, perfect. This is wonderful. This is, oh, no, nothing here. Okay, is, is it over? Yeah, there it is. It's the soccer ball. I don't really know why soccer balls are the missing present. All right, perfect. We got the soccer ball. And now we just got to head back to the finish line. I mean, this game is great. The tutorials are really, really well laid out. You'll probably notice that it seems like there's a lot of tutorials, a lot of different levels. But each level really aims to teach you one sort of fundamental thing about how to use the game, which is really, really nice. It kind of really gets you into it. I know when I first started playing this game, it seemed very daunting with all the crafting and stuff. But once you start playing around with it and clicking it, um, it's actually not nearly as bad as you would think. It's very, very easy to get the hang of. All right, so in this next tutorial, we have to avoid all the dummies and merge joints several times. Uh, joints, I think, are the little vertex things. Did that count? Why didn't that count? I merged those two, did I not? It seems one joint is left floating in midair. Okay, let's just undo. Um, or are they talking about the bars? Are, are joints the middle sections, maybe? Oh, okay, joints are the bars. I see. So we just have to drag a couple of the bars over top of each other. Um, I don't know why it didn't count as merging those two. Okay, and then we'll just extrude something out here. And, you know, we'll just merge this with that. No, can I, can I please? All right. All right, there we go. We've just got this really ugly triangle on the front. So I guess the little points don't count as joints. Oh, no, they do. Weird. Okay, so I guess for some reason these joints at the back just didn't count as a, a merge point. We've got one floating here. Just press delete. Boom, done. You know what? We'll delete this whole front section too because I think it looks ugly. Um, there we go. Perfect. And you can see we've got now this open section. So everything has a panel as well as like the frame around it. But we can just, you know, we can drag... And uh, we can cover that up just like this. Perfect. I love the freeform crafting. It's so cool. It's going to allow us to make some really crazy vehicles. And of course, you still have motorized parts and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, with the way the freeform crafting works and the ability to make curves, 
uh, you're going to be able to make a lot of different parts. We're not allowed to hit these dummies, so this should be pretty easy. We'll just scroll down here. Where's the third dummy? Why would I even, like, why would I hit you? You're way over there. All right, perfect. Again, the tutorials here, they're just trying to teach us, you know, how to build stuff. So this one wants us to extrude, um, you know, we'll just extrude a block out there, or whatever we could extrude. I don't know, like, make the, there we go. It's a, it's a tall car. That's perfect. We'll just extrude the back out. Uh, we need, oh, we need to extrude five times. Wow, that's, that is a lot. Okay, you know what, this, this probably is bad for aerodynamics. Um, yeah, and then we'll just, we'll delete this, and delete this, delete this, delete that, delete that, and all that. Oh, look at that, look at that spoiler. See, this is, this is how you know this car is gonna be business. Um, actually this, we'll just, we'll just bring that, we'll bring that back down. Poke all dummies. Oh, perfect, here we go. This, technically this is generating downforce. I mean, I don't know how, but it is. All right, poke you. Oh my goodness, can we get a dummy to sit in the chair? It looks like a chair. I wonder if we hit a dummy hard enough, if we can get him to sit. Okay, we got to try this now. We got to find a dummy who's standing up, ram him at full speed, and see if we can turn this into a dummy wheelchair. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is perfect too. He's right up against the fence. He doesn't, he doesn't suspect anything. Here we go. This is going to be amazing. Oh, this is perfect. This is gonna work. Okay, full speed. Oh, yeah, that, that didn't work. Oh my, oh, oh boy. I got a deer on my hood. Oh, excuse me. Skip, skip, skip. Um, all right, perfect. That's great. Oh boy, no. It's okay, can we get, we can get back up. Amazing. And challenge completed. Okay, so for the final level of the building section, we have to finish with a heavy robot 75 plus. The present is is very obviously right here, um, but we're gonna have to make a, a robot have like an arm. So they don't really give us much of a robot. They give us this tiny little thing. So we'll just extrude this at the back and then we'll extrude it out the front. Um, that only adds 5.4, but we'll add some motors and stuff. We had some big motors. Does that make it really heavy? Oh yeah, 35. Look at that. 40, 70, 65. So done. We're pretty much just going to add some wheels. We're good to go. Um, look at look at that. I Yeah, 85. Okay, so we didn't even need much really. We got to move this forward a bit though. So we'll do that real quick. And same thing here. Otherwise, we're going to kind of bottom out. And then to reach that, we just need a, an arm at the front. So we'll bring this up and merge this forward. And then we can extrude right out of here actually. And we should be able to do this. Look at that. And then extrude this guy. Whoop, that's not what I wanted to do. Extrude. Like this. And we connect this down like that. And then we connect this to that. Look at look at how easy this is. Do you see how awesome this crafting is? I mean, I can get so used to this. Dream Car Racing, I know, had crafting similar to this. But you had to do all this wireframe stuff, which was really aggravating for me. Um, but I think we're good to go. So this is our heavy robot. And we should just be able to, oh that oh i am so short so we'll grab this pull it out like that and then probably bring this one up as well so we don't have too much weight on the front something like you know we can just bring this back make this a triangle there we go perfect that should be good right this looks really really stupid but as long as we can get the ball perfect and now we just got to go to the objective oh i, I would laugh if we didn't fit through the door Okay, going down, going down. I love this game, guys. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, yo. Okay, we're fine. Fine, look, he's smiling. He's having a good... Oh, his eyes are twitching a little bit. That's okay. He's having a good time. But I love this game. It's so much fun. All right, so there's only one section left of the tutorial, and that's the programming basic side of thing, which is how all the logic works. Now, the wiring in this game is very similar to the wiring in Logic Bots. I don't know if you guys remember. I played that game a while ago. And Logic Bots has sort of a circuit diagram that you lay out. And what I mean is we'll, we'll set up a robot here. So they want us to check out this robot. Uh, we print it and you'll notice it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't work. So of course, we have to go back to assembly mode. Now we open up the catalog and you can see we can go to the wiring. And we've got just this circuit board. And you lay out everything with inputs, math, and just everyone's favorite thing. It's all math. But it's all done with this circuit diagram. So you see we kind of 
drag lines from node to node. And it's really powerful what you can do with this. The easiest way I can compare this to scrap mechanic is it's very similar to sort of mod pack number logic. In the scrap mechanic vanilla, um, the vanilla logic is using a binary type system. And in this, of course, you can use a logic type system. So of course we connected the steering and uh, now we've got that and we can drive forward and back. It's really cool, guys. I mean, it's so good. And of course, the logic is completely independent to the size of your vehicle. So since the logic is all done on this circuit board in the background, you can make really, really small vehicles and not have to worry about having thousands of logic blocks on them if you want to make them do something a little bit more complicated. So I really, really like that. Uh, and of course, they want us to build a new robot. Same thing, they want us to print it and it, uh, it, oh, it doesn't turn, but it goes forward and reverse, but it doesn't turn at all. All right, so they want us to set up an input for steering, so we can, of course, just grab an input, set this here, um, select our axis, so our plus would be, I don't know, A, and our negative would be D, right? Is that something like that? And, of course, we connect this to here. I might have that backwards. I might have to have it as D and A. I'm not sure, but let's see what happens uh, if the steering's reverse or forward. It's of course it's reversed. Yeah, yeah, I got it wrong. But you know, it's fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna go we're gonna just drive in reverse steering. Um uh, oh this is okay. Uh, no, drive to the parking area. Yeah, I'm working on it. It uh, okay. We're good. Perfect! So of course this is the final level of the tutorials after this. Uh keep off the grass. Not in yet. So okay, so we can just drive right over the grass. Program your robot. Uh same robot as before. Uh we can do the same thing. I think in this one they give you nothing. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, I've been playing around a little bit, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna make a tank drive system. So we just gonna, you know, you're gonna have a W, we're gonna have an S, we're gonna have an A here, and we're gonna have a D there. And of course, we use some maths. So we got motors, right? And if we take the alpha, uh, we want the power of the motor. And of course, we can set this to mirror mode on, and we can go over here. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I had to talk to the devs to figure out how to do this mirror mode stuff, but you can do some cool stuff, right? And then, of course, we add this, and we add this, and we add this, and we add that, and we subtract something. And uh, by the time we're done, we subtract uh, we subtract this over here. So we add this one goes here with this, and this goes like this, right? Now, each value is between 1 and negative 1. So we just add this one to here, and this one to here, and, and you know, and we're good to, th good to that. And we go to here, and we go over to here as well. You know, excuse me, sir. Thank you. And then we go, um, AD is like this, right? And now that we've done all this, if we wire this all up, uh, magic happens and it becomes a tank. I think. If I've done this right. Have I done it right? I think I did it right. Yes, if I hold left, it rotates this way. And if I hold right, it rotates this way. Uh, so that's reversed. We gotta switch the AD axis. But forward goes forward, reverse goes reverse. And we basically have a tank system now. Um, it's, it's... <laughs> I love this game, guys. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's so cool. There's so much stuff we can build. There's this mode. There's Obviously, we've just gone through the tutorial, which we did pretty quickly, I'm not going to lie. But there's so much more we could do. They've got planes. They've got, like, a forklift. They had pistons. They have a train that runs stuff. I mean, I can't even, I can't even begin to tell you all the cool challenges there are in this game and all the great stuff we're going to be able to do. Um, I got to reverse this tank steering, though. It's, it's really driving me bonkers. So here we go. We're going to go into the catalog. And, uh, we've got this backwards, so that's A, that's D, done. Easy mode. It's just so good, guys. Look, look at this. Tank steering, no problem. Ten seconds. Takes way less time to figure that out than you would in any other game. So I love it. The logic is really, really cool. Because all the logic uses numbers, it makes it really easy to pick up. Uh, games like Logic Bots that are all binary-based, uh, obviously a little bit easier, I guess, to deal with if you understand how binary systems work, but a little bit more difficult for the average person and, and that's it. We've beaten all the trails. I think we got all of them. Oh, what did, why did we not get these stars? Oh, there's only two stars on these. Okay, so that's that's why. And these ones, only two stars as well. So I think that's it. We got all the stars. But honestly, guys, this game is super, super awesome. You can see we've just done all the tutorials. So great stuff there. And we've got all these challenges to do as well. And then we've also got the sandbox. And of course, this game has tons of potential to add in more challenges. And we can do a lot of stuff in many different ways. I, for one, want to try doing as many things as possible fully automated. I know the tutorial kind of limits you because you don't really get the ability to customize your robot until the very, very end. But it's really, really cool stuff, and I can't wait to try building some epic new creations in this game. This game was built with our community in mind, and it's just so great that these developers have built a game that really seems like it's 
sort of catered to people who enjoy that building game that has the physics sandbox sort of elements built into it. So I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. And of course, check out all the links in the description. I'll include links to the Steam store page as well as the developers discord if you guys want to chat with them. But definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below. While you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.